demands the man. When you have him, you have everything. When you have him, you have everything. Amen. Amen. You have no right to manipulate that love. When there's manipulation, it's all about the goodies. And that is stealing. Stealing from the quality that you could have. But now I want to manipulate this love. You're not allowed to steal. But manipulate love, that is cheap. And you will steal. Afrikaans call this hoere loon. Wat is Engels vir hoere loon? Look in Hosea. Find it there. You will see. He's, he's, he's there. Okay. She goes back to get her wages for, for what she did. Hello? And so I can sleep with different facets. Oh, I can be nice to this one and I can speak with this one so that his heart is with me. And, and everybody is buddy, buddy, buddy. And in the end, this one helps that one, that one helps this one. But it's based on manipulation. You know, you're stealing from them to have a relationship with a man when you are deceiving him, deceiving people. You are stealing from them. Love is rejoices in the truth that God has everything for that person. Amen? You will rejoice only in that fact. You will not link him to you for what you can get out of it. That is stealing what God has for him. Uh-uh. You cannot steal and deceive that person. As was by. Number nine. You will brag about the man. You will be exposed as the wife of that man. You will be seen as what an awesome husband that lady has. What an awesome husband when we see the radiant smile. There's just a radiance. There's just a lightness in their face. There's just a beauty in her, in her way, in her conduct. There's just the sweet attractiveness. But it's not... Uh, a lust for the rest, but it's a wow of holiness. That woman is set apart for her man. And that man has touched her with honor. And that man has purified her. That man <coughs> he's gave, gave her a heaven. That man has, give, has given her himself full out. And that man is Jesus. <coughs> and by grace that woman is me and you. That's the witness. That's your witness. Woman, that's your witness. Don't be the witness of a harlot, the witness of a whore. Witness, stand as a witness, but you are actually a, standing as a prostitute or adulteress. No. Be that woman. Be the witness of, of what an awesome husband you have. Be the witness of who is the man in your life. Be the witness of who is touching you. And no other touch come near you. They can't touch what they can't afford. Hello? Because you were bought with a price. You were bought with a price. The blood of Christ. Amen? <coughs> See yourself there. Because He sees you there. Respect what He says. Amen? And lastly, at this point, whatever you desire, that will be His desire. Your desire and his desire is one. And there is no way that you will walk in this fornication, that you will walk in this intimate rubbish that is not from God. You will stand not ashamed and naked as a harlot. You will not stand ashamed, but you will stand having the honor to be the bride. Amen. Amen. Let's finish off. With Hosea 14. There's two and three. So as we stand there and we understand that, Scripture says, take words with you and return to the Lord. We can have the band, thank you. Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, 
Take away all iniquity. Receive us graciously, for we will offer the sacrifices of our lips. These guys shall not save us. We will not ride on horses, nor will we say any more to the work of our hands. You are our gods. What you can do now, God has given me this ability, and I can create with my hands, and, and therefore I have a job, therefore there is provision. To the work of your hands, you will not say that is your God, that you are intimate with your job, intimate with what you can do, intimate with your abilities, and making that your God. Sleeping around, focused every day, every day just with your abilities. No, God has given me abilities, but I never focus on Him in the ability. Never ask Him, Lord, must I use these abilities now for this or for that or for that? How must I do? How must I? Hello, hello? You with me? Never. Verse 8. What have I do anymore with your idols? What have I to do anymore with your idols, God says? I am like a green cypress tree. Your fruit is found in me. That what will come forth from you is from me. Because I am the man, you will be impregnated. And the fruit coming forth from you is from me. If he is the husband and you are the wife. Amen. Amen. Who is wise? Let him understand these things. Who is prudent? Let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right. The righteous walk in them, but transgressors stumble in them. Who is wise? Let him understand these things. Who is wise? He will be protected. Wise virgin, you will be protected. Wisdom will protect you. Amen. We talked about that. That is our here word. See the wisdom in Hosea. Be that wise virgin. Let wisdom take you there. That you will not be a harlot. You will not be a whore. You will not be a prostitute. You will not be adulterous. Because wisdom protects you. Protects you. Protects you. Protects you. Knowledge. That knowledge that you know. Intimate knowing. Wisdom is put it into practice. Intimate knowing. You have that knowledge. You have that intimate knowing with your man. But out there... You have wisdom that protects you to live it out practically every day. Let's stand. God, here we are. Change our lives, Lord. Change our lives, Lord. Change your lives, Lord. If you know you are standing here and you've been too intimate with fears, hurts, circumstances and all those things and just want to cut yourself loose from that ties and you need to break loose from that, and to declare and to, to say, I'm coming back to one lover, and that is Christ. I just want you to raise your hand. God, I pray for everyone whose hand is, is stretched out to you. God, my own hand also. Lord, and I say, change our lives, Lord. Change our lives. Set us free. Every hand that is reach, reaching out to you, set us free, Lord, to understand that what you want to do in our lives. Oh God, I pray for everyone reaching out to you, that they will be protected by wisdom, that they will break through as the bride of Christ, that they will have no other lovers in any area of your their lives, Lord, but that they will see their breakthrough in the beauty, that you will beautify everyone who is reaching out to you right now, that you will beautify their lives through the blood of Christ, and they will shine forth for you, shine forth for you, in only that what is from you, that their desires will be your desires, Lord, that emotions will not manipulate them, that they will not have deceiving, deceiving desires because it's polluted by emotions, Lord. Thank you, Father, that you set them free, that it will be quality desires through a purifying fire for them to embrace a love that just <coughs> built their life, that make their life significant. Each one who is reaching out to you, each one whose hand is up, Lord, I pray for them for this breakthrough. I pray that they will receive that breakthrough right now in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Touch their lives, Lord. Touch their lives like never before in Jesus' name.